Watch you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can delete all types of different cache which is stored on the computer and we're going to be using uh, just uh, our manual way of removing this rather than using any software but there's loads of types of software out there that will clean up your system and clear all the uh, system cache up for you but I just want to show you there is ways of going about this manually. It's always a good way uh, to learn and know where this stuff is stored. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to cover as much as I can here, uh, but there's probably loads more uh, which I could cover, but I'll probably have to do that in another video. So first off, let's start off by going to the uh, Explorer here, then into the C drive. Inside here, you can all already see we do have a windows.old. I'll cover that bit a little bit later on. You can see that has 1.51 gigabytes, which we can now remove. But first off, we're going to go into the Windows directory. Inside here, we're going to come down to where it says Software Distribution. Inside Software Distribution, this is where all your data. So if you go into um, Downloads here, this is your uh, Windows update data which is uh, used and then it doesn't uh, need it anymore so you can get rid of all this stuff here so you can see if I just put properties on this that's 507 megabytes which is quite a lot so if you want to delete that you can delete all this stuff inside here by just pushing the delete key and it will delete that now if it needs any of this stuff it will automatically download it anyway so I'm just gonna get rid of this and do this to all of this content inside here and let that delete okay okay so that folder is now empty and that one is done so we can close that off so next up we're going to go to the temp area now to do this you can push the windows key which is the little flag key on your left hand bottom corner of your keyboard and r and that brings up the run box now you can also uh, bring up the run box by right clicking and clicking on run here same thing so do a uh, percentage T E M P and then percentage and this will take you to the location here and you can now delete all the content inside here this is just temp stuff that you can delete so let me go ahead and uh, highlight all this stuff and you can highlight it the way you want but basically I'm just going to highlight it all like this I'm actually recording this stuff at the moment so I need to remove these but you don't have to but because I'm recording the screen with my software it may be using this uh, data inside here because it does use that and any stuff that it needs to put into here it will repopulate it okay when you need to so let me just uh, make sure that I can remove that stuff and it won't hurt the computer and up here you can add in your little buttons as well if you want to you can push the delete key here you probably aren't going to see this stuff here but you can add them in by using this little drop down and uh, so we just do that and some of this stuff will be used okay but yours should be empty but I'm using these right now to record the screen next up we're going to go back into there again by pushing the windows key and the run so I open up the uh, run box here and now we're just going to put in here temp no percentage and just open this up it may say you don't have permission just click continue and it will open up this windows area here and you can delete all the contents inside here okay as well this is just another area which you can delete and I'm going to delete all this stuff there we go and that's all gone so next up what we want to do is get prefetch and you can do that by going back into the uh, run again and we're going to do prefetch just like so click OK and it will give you the same thing again click continue and this will open up your prefetch area and we're going to select everything here like so and I'm just going to delete it you can right click and delete if you want to and there we go and all that's gone so that's the uh, prefetch there now another thing you can do is reset uh, your Windows Store and we can do that again by opening up our run box and what we're going to do is WS reset all one word like so click OK 
and this will open up the command prompt and this will reset all of the uh, Windows Store and get rid of all that uh, data in there as well for you. It may take a bit of time so be patient and let it do its thing and it will continue and uh, finish. There we go. That's done. So if you had any problems with uh, your Windows Store, that will fix it and resolve it most of the time. So what we're going to do next is move on to the next stage. Okay, next up what we're going to do is go to Edge and uh, remove all the data from there. Now you can do this on other browsers as well, but just open this up. So once we've got Edge open, what we're going to do is click the three dots and go Settings come all the way down to where it says clear browser data choose what you want to clear and then put the ticks into whatever you want to uh, clear here and then click on clear this will clear all that data okay and you can always put the tab in here to always clear when this browser when you close this browser and you can turn that on if you wish okay next up what we're going to do here is go to the start button then go settings inside here what you want to do is go to where it says privacy click on this one here go to your location and inside here you want to come down and you can see here it will say clear history of this device you can do that as well and it will clear all the history uh, for this device which is this computer and there's loads of other areas you can route around inside here as well uh, to try and do that as well now also what you might want to do here is go to uh, your command prompt so type cmd right click on this and run this as administrator this will open up this box here and uh, what you want to do here is type ipconfig forward slash flush and then dns like so and this will flush your dns and get rid of all the uh, cash inside there as well now another one you can do uh, as well which we're going to have a look at right now is called a uh, cleaner which is your cleaner manager and to do that you're just going to go here and type clean and you will see uh, disk manager uh, clean up here so I'm going to click on this and click OK this will open up this box and this will allow you to remove any more uh, stuff that you want to remove here and you can see here recycle bin temp files it will do it all from here as well thumbnails any of that stuff you can uh, do so what we're going to do here is clean up the uh, system like so click OK here it will start to run that cleanup tool it will come back here again now it's offering us to clean the windows updates so it's 1.77 gigabytes so we're going to do that as well get rid of the windows defender antivirus stuff inside there windows update log files 175 megabytes and as you can see as we move down here as well we're just going to remove some of this stuff now you can see here previous windows installation this is that windows uh, dot old there we're going to remove that as well get rid of all that stuff and claw back some uh, quite a bit of space I would say there and we're just going to do this lot here okay so that's good enough for me just put the ticks in there and you also have more here which you can do a little bit later on but we're just going to click OK here I'm going to say yes and this will then clear up that space for us so just let that do its thing okay so now that's all finished you will see the windows the old folder should be gone and you've claimed back a ton of space on your c drive so that is a good thing now obviously you can do this uh, with uh, software and stuff like that but if you want to do it manually you can do just showing you the way to do it manually if you want to do that you can also do it with batch files if you want to there's loads of ways of going about doing this sort of stuff and there's loads of other areas where you can uh, claim back space now also just before I go system restore uh, is another place where you might want to uh, clear restore points so if you open up the system restore 
uh, area here. If you've got this on, you'll see it's on for me right here. And what you want to do is go into the configure area and you can claim back some space here. You can see uh, space used is nine gigabytes. So I'm going to delete these here. And that's now claim back that nine gigabytes. And then what you want to do here is click OK here. And then you want to create a new system restore point. OK. And you can call it wherever you like. I'm just going to put clean here. And that will just take a restore point for me. And that cleans up a lot of space. And also sometimes you get a, a massive amounts of restore points inside here as well, which you may want to uh, remove and claim back space. So you can see here we've got uh, usage back. We've got uh, 10 gigabytes we claim back. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you can... Uh, clean up your system cache by using these methods i just wanted to make this video for you i think there was a topic talking about it on the uh, forum and there's some other ones uh, if i can think of anything else i'll let you know in other videos but thanks again for watching guys hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos Thank <laughs> you.